Easter greetings to you, Bethel children and families. Easter is finally here, and it is the greatest day of celebration in the entire year. But I'll let you in on a little secret. Every worship service is Easter Sunday. This Easter good news isn't just set aside for one day of one worship service, but it is our greatest gift every day. Christians are Easter people. Yet today is the day when we hear the story of all the events that happened on that first Easter morning. When the women visited the tomb and they discovered that it was empty, Jesus had risen from the dead. So today, I am coming to you from outside near a large stone. Now, many of you received a Lent at Home bag in this past Ash Wednesday, and it came with a cross like this that we hope you put up somewhere prominent, maybe on your kitchen table. And then every Wednesday, and now in Holy Week, we've received things to put at the cross. So on Palm Sunday, we talked about the Palm Cross, Monday, Thursday, a little sponge, but today, and then Good Friday, also a nail. But today, we have a stone. Now, you may think that this little stone is uh, something easy to carry or something that you could easily roll along if you had to, or maybe even catch in the air. Light, easy to carry, and yet this isn't anything near the huge stone that was in front of Jesus' tomb. It was probably a lot more like this one right behind me. Now, do you think I could throw this stone in the air or maybe even lift it up? Let me see here. Oh my goodness, no, this thing is really heavy. And that's why the women were worried. Who was going to roll away the stone when they went to see Jesus to anoint him after he had been buried there? They wondered, but then to their surprise, an angel had appeared to them. The stone had been rolled away. The angel said to them, be not afraid. Look, look here at the place where he lay. Jesus is risen. He is no longer here. And so go and tell the other disciples that he has risen from the dead. This is our Easter good news. It is good news for you and me that Jesus takes away all of the heavy, heavy things we carry with us in our life and gives us forgiveness. We need not be afraid or sad. Because Jesus lives, we shall live also. Nothing can separate us from that promise in Christ. Let us pray. Gracious God, on this Easter, may we be filled with the joy of the resurrection in this newness of life for today, hope for tomorrow, and life in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Easter. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia.